The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Good morning, everyone. This is Thursday, the 22nd of February, and wow, what a move we've just seen in NVIDIA after that spectacular announcement of the earnings, etc., etc. Uh, it's soaring up uh, 98 points. Uh, let's see, it's trading at 773.24. Can it hold? I want to go through a bunch of things right now. Um, let me do this for a moment here, and if you don't mind, there you are. Okay, so IND. So the Dow right now is up 310 points at 38,923. My contention has been that the 30, that the 40,000, sorry, the 39,000 level will be strong resistance, and that the whole area of 38,900 should be some kind of a barrier. Whoa. We're going to see if that's the case. I've got it in a leg E in the Dow Daily. Um, I'm going to go through the overview in a moment, but let me just finish this. The weekly chart extended that leg B. So this is still very bullish because what we're talking about is that the monthly, the weekly chart, the monthly charts, the technicals are strong, and that's your larger tide. On the shorter term, what we are looking at is with the, I'm just checking to see if there's any yep, there's some questions coming in. Uh, the shorter term. We're getting a little toppy in the sense that the technicals, for, for me, the MACD and the stochastic have been pulling back. But the most important thing is I'm going to just do this right now. I did it the other day. Yesterday I did it, and I'm going to do it again. Look, this is the this is the Dow, INDU. And there's a nine-period exponential moving average. You can see it in this chart, and you can see the on-balance volume is weakening a little bit. But you can see that the nine period moving average is still green above the that's nine is green. The black is the 14 period moving average. It changes to pink when it goes negative like it was back here in November before that November the third turn around to the positive side. However, what we are looking at is um, the as long as the nine is over the 14, I call this the indicator of last resort. That that's besides the fact that within the shorter term, I might be looking uh, for some traders within my subscription service, uh, the opening call, who were looking to short to do some other things that pertain to the shorter term. And you can't get an intermediate term move until the shorter term actually turns around. And um, let me just do this here. Uh, excuse me. Okay. So within that context, uh, what we are looking at is the unbalanced volume is just suggesting that with the MACD and the stochastic that there's some kind of a pullback. And within that, with the the actual three instruments that we're looking at here as technical tools, the 9, the 14, and the unbalanced volume, this is just hinting that there's going to be some kind of a pullback, and it could be coming fairly soon. Let's go to the S&P, the same thing, S&P. Look how it's bounced above the nine period moving average. The nine, this is a much better chart looking chart now. It wasn't yesterday, but now it is with that big move up, up 77 at 5,059. You can see the on balance run did make a little double top and then turned around. But as long as the um, this is holding well, I have to consider that that is still a big positive. The QQQ was very negative. If today, <clears throat> forget about NVIDIA, if today was in fact some kind of, or how can I put it, some kind of a turnaround session in the sense that uh, you're looking at, oh, I'd put it, uh, let me just do this here. Yeah. In the sense that you're looking at not the longer term picture, but the very short term picture, then what we're looking at is the I keep moving this around. I'm sorry. Just I got uh, interrupted here. Train of thought. Let's just get back again. So the QQQ is already what I want you to show you. This is still a peak C unless by Friday we go about 439.14, go to 439.15. That ex by f tomorrow at 4 o'clock, that extends leg C in the weekly chart. So it's a little uh, further ahead. 
uh, then the Dow and the S and P and the weekly charts, just in terms of the uh, denomination and Chapman wave methodology. But that is still very positive. And even the nine period moving average yesterday, it looked that if today, forget about Nvidia, if there wasn't Nvidia news, it looked to me like there was a really good chance that today we get a pink. The nine period moving average would go under the 14 period moving average, turn pink, and that would say very short term we've got a sell signal. We haven't. I mentioned this for the last couple of days. We don't even have a sell signal in the Dow or the S&P. We were very close to it in the QQQ, but now you've got this huge move up. Let's go to the next thing, which I wanted to look at now. We've got a little more time, is the SMHs. The semiconductor index trading at an all-time high as we speak at 209.26. Um, I have to, I'm calling this a G, but because of the 9 period moving average extending like this, the MACD is kind of weak. The stochastic is weakish at 68. The unbalanced volume is pulling back. The uh, You can see this little gray line here. That's the relative strength index. is not that strong. And all I can say is that within the context of what I was looking at yesterday, and I just have to go right now. I shouldn't do this during the show, but I did. And I'm going to go to there. Yeah. Uh, within the context of everything we're looking at, the <laughs> can't believe this. I have to consider this as an alternate count. Uh, yes, it's a G. I'm putting in the G, but the type of strength we're looking at says, just be ready that um, it could be <laughs> a G slash B. I, I, uh, <sighs> I find that hard to believe, but I have to take it at that. And because of that, I'm just looking at this and saying, based on the strength of the weekly chart, I could call this an alternate count, E slash, uh, e slash A. I don't want to do that right now. No need to. Let's just see where this goes. But the technicals are really strong. And I, I just I cannot fight the, the technicals, although... Um, in a sense, the positions that we've just taken for a trade say that maybe we are starting to fight a little bit. And the most important thing is if if I did nothing else, as I did with Microsoft, where I said we're long from 338, we've had trades in between with, with, with success, um, I almost said, do I go for a shorter term, another short term trade to add to our trading position, to add to our core position and have another trading position? Yes, and I thought, gee, what if we actually do the QQQs do turn down tomorrow? That won't be very good. So I didn't do anything. So we're still long, and it had a really strong early morning bounce. Uh, it hit 412.83. It's trading at 410.32, up eight. It had an all time high with a Chen Wave two bar reversal. We were fortunate in the last move up. We got out at 420.20, the high, all time high. That day was 420.82, so we took profits there. Um, but in the meet, and, and for that trading position, we're out of that. But this is just telling me that we're starting to become quite choppy. And, it's, and I'm going to go through a bunch of things in a moment to show you what I mean. And as I'm going out, you remember ARM, we saw that round number at one, 164. Uh, about two weeks ago, and then it plunged to 117. Round number was a low, and now we're looking at uh, it trading at 134 with a round number of 132. Uh, if you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years 
years' experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. So I want you to say Arm Holdings, PLC, you know, Semi is a licensing company. I had a really strong move up uh, early this morning, and so far it's holding it. It's at 136.21. If it takes out uh, 131 as key support, any time today, that'll be a negative. And I'll give you all of these. I'll give you NVIDIA. What would happen if later in the day there is some kind of a turn back, a turnaround? And I went through all the NVIDIA earnings uh, dates, and on each one, they made a peak, uh, a peak high and then pull back for a little bit after that. So I don't know if that's going to happen here, but I'm looking at this. I'm looking for round numbers in made. Um, I'm always looking for round numbers because it's always very telling what happens after that. Let's see if there's a round number here. Well, let's see if it's a high. Uh-oh, 779.00. Oh, All-time high, round number. Somebody bought that like one, one, was it 146 in arm? And then they saw it, was it 164? And then saw it plunge to the 110 area. Well, this is 779. We're watching it closely. Um, I think it's going to be taken out because it's, uh, oh, it just got taken out. But someone was paying a round number, 779.00. So I'm going to be watching this very closely. But that's not to say that uh, NVIDIA is the one that's going to really tank. This is all the focus is going to be on NVIDIA. And then it's going to be on all the semiconductors because what, surely the, the, they're going to come in full blast trying to take some of the business from NVIDIA. He has advanced micro devices uh, trading at uh, 179.92, up 15. Uh, this, look at this kind of rectangle formation here. Would it break out to the 184.92 level, which is the all-time high? Uh, just a couple of weeks ago. Ah, this is pretty good action. A leg B, peak B in the weekly chart. We'll try for a leg C if it goes to 184.93. Let's look at applied materials, or AM, AMAT. Big move up, up 10 at 200.32. Um, looking at this weekly chart, leg E, leg D in the monthly chart, very good action. Let's look at uh, Marvell. Marvell is one of the quieter ones most people don't talk about. But it's done very nicely, Marvell Technologies, uh, 69.52, up four. So this is what I would draw. I drew it in one of the charts this morning. Was it yesterday? 
I think it was the futures, that's right. So there it is. You've got yourself a falling axe formation. We're going to see if it's able to get to the 72s. Marvell had an all-time high back in December of uh, 2021 uh, in the 93s. Comes comes down to the 30, what was that, 37 area? Let me just give you the exact number. Comes down to 33.73 in January of 2023. And now it's in leg C in the monthly chart, peak C in the weekly, and this is a peak D, and it's just kind of, uh, it's in a, you can call it kind of a down channel. So we'll see where this can go to. So I don't want to go through them all. I'm just saying that this is going to be very important because you're going to find that some of the uh, some of the semiconductor companies have to morph a little bit. They have to change what they do. What is Intel doing? That has been the laggard for so long. Whoa, down 30 cents at 43.16. I guess they're not going to be a challenger to uh, uh, to the NVIDIA. All right, now let's get back to our story. I wanted to show you something else. So a question came in about the XLF. So the XLF is the financials. Very nice rally here. So um, if this was a peak F right here, then this can be a brand new, look right there. Now we've got a new move up. And A, B, C, D, leg E in the daily. Um, this this has to be an alternate count, G stash C in the weekly. So all of this is really nice new yearly recovery high. I wanted that, that was really important to see that the XLF, the financials, independently of anything else in the market, was holding well. Because if you can get the financials to be moving strongly, that to me is key to the, in, to the integrity of the market. I, I love to see that. But I also wanted to see the regionals start to move higher. And they've been lagging terribly. Let me look at KRE. That is the ETF. This is KRE is the S&P Regional Banking ETF, um, trading up 13 cents at 48.14, stuck on that 200 period exponential moving average. You know, this is very much like the semiconductors where, yep, they're doing well, but you've got an incredible leader. So you've got JP Morgan in the, um, in the multinationals, in the uh, money center banks, all-time high as we speak at 182.44. Um, leg C in the monthly, leg C in the weekly, a leg, yeah, leg E, I'm calling it right now, in the daily. Uh, and that's leading. We've got Bank of America, which we specially chose because it was a laggard, but it could have a really good percentage move if it really kicks in gear. Right now, it's up 22 cents at 33.92. It's kind of been struggling, but it's really, the weekly has to push away from the 200 period moving average. I, I wanted to also go through this. So that KRE is lagging. Now, I would prefer to find a leader in the KRE, a regional bank, in the middle price range around about the 40s, maybe 35 to 42. Uh, maybe someone will help me. Uh, just give me a yell. I, one that I've always looked at, which I believe is, is Brookline Bank. Uh, Brookline Bank. Oh, I had it all notated recently, and now I must have lost it. Um, yeah, it's it's lagging. It's at 50. This is not BR. Oh, this is BlackRock. BRKL. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Oh, man, not looking good at all. Yeah, these regionals. And if the regionals are going to fail, that's your mom and pop store. And not really, but I'm, I'm saying that's that's really, in, that that's, that's part of the infrastructure of each town and village. Oh, I, So all I can say is I was asked about the KRE, and all I'm going to tell you is that as a laggard, you've got a perfect laggard here because, wow, is this lagging? But I don't see strength yet. If you don't mind, I'm going to say at 48, I know it's only a, a dollar, a dollar and a quarter. I'm going to say I'd rather be looking at it and I don't like it when it does it that quickly. But if in the next two, three days, it's able to, it doesn't even, now I'm going to say it has to close. You usually say it doesn't have to close. Just has to start leg E at 49.54. Peak B was at 49.53. Um, gosh. Yeah, I, 
uh, I can't give you anything right now. I can just say that I'd prefer to buy strength, and I would probably I'd sacrifice a point to actually start a position at 49.54. That's not ideal. Perhaps if the general market is holding well and the um, KRE is getting to maybe even just over this high of the 20th, which is at 48.72. Yeah, 48.73. I'd start a little position at 48.73. I wouldn't add or anything until you got the proof of the pudding and that isn't there yet. Basil Chapman, Tiger Technicians Hour. I want to look at the market overview as soon as I return. The, 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 the smaller picture and the bigger picture. Where do, we, where do I stand and what are we looking at? Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors you might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. I'm just getting rid of some of these round numbers here on Avagio, which is Broadcom. Uh, trading at an all-time high right now at uh, 1297. It hit 1390, 1304.20. Had all these round numbers. So the thing about the round numbers is that you need to look back. You can't. You have to wait a while to see what 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 was the implication. Is this like a huge cloud that sits there, and then in March, say middle of March, you're looking at uh, 1100 or 1050, and all of these become very strong resistance levels 
uh, I can't say right now, other than to, to put this in context and say it's at an all-time high leg in the weekly chart. This is still acting really well, but you can see this colossal consolidation here. It needed this uh, NVIDIA announcement to really change from an arch formation, taking out the 1,200 uh, support um, to rallying like it is. So that's really important. Okay, so the overview picture is this. In the context of the market, because we have long positions in the Dow from October, from March of 2020, and then the low of also the low of October of 2022, that that core position, I don't want to change that under any circumstances until we get to a point where I'm I'm looking at the market and the um, uh, that, that I'm talking about some formation of like a coda where, where you've already got one announcement of uh, United States tallest building being built in what did I say it was Oklahoma City something like that um, all these things have to come aboard you need to see the IAI which is actually quite acting very well right now the I shares broker dealer ETF we are long from 45 way back in 2020 I should have been adding here but I thought we'd be pulling back a little bit more so this is acting very nicely. 109.40 was the high on the 29th of December. 109.08 so far is the high. This is acting very nicely. <clears throat> Until this is streaming in the 150s or 160s, and you've got Schwab moving uh, from where it is right now at 64 and not acting all that great, but really up in the uh, 120 area, almost doubling from here. Then I'm going to say to you, wow. We are making some kind of a top that is probably going to be historic. We're not even close to that. So in that context, the overall big movement of the market, I still like. Now, I'll go back to the Dow just to say this is what I'm using just for the benchmark as we are talking, is that the monthly chart is in leg C. We aren't close to a top until at least a D, and then it can go higher. But D is where I, you start to look at something way more important, and it's in C. It's only in a B in the in the weekly chart. That still has to go to at least a D, and then you've got to be careful. The uh, daily chart is rallying. Uh, we got taken out of our very short-term trading positions. This was almost like an insurance policy, but it was a trade, and we got taken out uh, uh, 2940 to 29. Oh, sorry, 2939 to 20, 2900. Um, not a big deal. A couple of percentage points, uh, and we still have the long position. So if you're in that whole mix then this is just part of an insurance policy that you wanted. But I am, I have been anticipating, especially with those round numbers, that it's telling us that, it, that going into, um, I would say, this phase of the up move, we started to get toppy in a sense that I haven't seen this kind of toppiness if I'm looking at round numbers as a sign of toppiness. For a long time, it's just the number of them. It's you know even you remember Lily we were looking at the other day, and I said, "Wow, Lily, a round number high." Um, uh, what is today? Today is um, is trading up 24, it's 770. Uh, no round numbers here, but yesterday, oh, this morning it had a 790 round number. Uh, was that yesterday? When was it? Oh, there, there it is. Okay, so it was. It wasn't. Uh, it was at the open. Oh, it was the open after it made the seven ninety seven nine four point forty seven all time high. So it's under the seven ninety. That was over there. I just. I don't even know where to put these numbers. I don't usually like to mess things up like this, but it, it's become so important. So I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, when. Fund man, it must be fund managers. When fund managers are so determined either to exit or to enter, it is part of round number hysteria. Because why else would you, you, you do that? Just because you've got to get it right at that moment. Otherwise, you think it through and say, I wanted it and, and name a number that probably is, has some fractional aspect to it. So 790.23 or whatever it is. Okay. So that just says to me, it's just a hint. To say it's more than a hint because so many of them have had it. I might find that this is going to be a new experience completely and that I'm going to have to treat this as a consolidation with round numbers that goes to even higher highs. But I, I need a few weeks because it's on a daily basis and I'm looking at it. So I need a few weeks. So only back in 
uh, when we get to like March, what's the March the second full week of March will be, um, yeah, March the 11th, the week of the 11th to the 15th. Let's see what happens at that particular point. So I'm watching them. Okay, so where are, where am I? On the Dow, uh, because we got taken out of that short position, we are still now only long. All our positions are long. We have one short position uh, at this particular on, on an index, and that is to see whether later in the day we don't start to pull back and have a weak session on Friday. This is just the thinking right now because of this flurry of activity or short covering, etc. You have to wait for later on. So that means on the short term position, I'm looking for some kind of topping action, but we haven't act, haven't we are only acting on it in trading positions. Other than that, if you look at the S and P, I have to admit that I don't yet have a signal. Yes, we do have a short position, but um, so far I have to call this an F. But we, we we're not looking at anything failing. It'll fail if this if this gap gets filled by next Tuesday or Wednesday, in other words, next week sometime. But other than that, so far this is really good action. Um, within the weekly charts, as I've said for ages, the weekly charts are fabulous and the monthly charts are fabulous. I am just trying to do a timing for some kind of short-term pullback. And it looked like uh, up until about 3 o'clock yesterday, it looked like, hey, this just might work. But it didn't work, obviously, with the, with that huge earnings report. Okay. So I want you to cover that. That's not to say that I won't attempt. If I see the conditions are, are, are apt, I might, I might attempt it again. But in the meantime, we've got positions that have to work out. We have long positions. So we have long, for instance, we are long the AIQ. The AIQ is the Global X Artificial Intelligence. Look, yesterday it was so close. If today was another week session, that nine period moving average would probably have just getting, gotten very close to turning down. So we've been long for a while. It's trading up 83 cents at 32.96. This is Global X Artificial Intelligence ETF. I have to tell you, I'm shockingly disappointed in this particular ETF because all the talk about AI, AI, and yet the index itself, of course, because it has a lot of laggards, it's a composite. But look at this. It's um, even in the left side, right side price time match, it's been struggling to get to the high that was made back in the week of the 19th of November of 33.33. .33. Um, and today's high is 33.04. I'll be back in a moment. Uh, Dow's up 272. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. So question came in about uh, DKNG. So yeah, so we have longs, we have Bank of America, we have this AI, we have uh, stocks in the uh, cannabis area, we have uh, Microsoft um, and it's others. But most importantly, what we are looking at here is that on the short side, if there's going to be a turnaround, today's action could in fact spell trouble if we close towards the low of the day. We don't have to go negative or anything like that, but we'll see what happens if there is some kind of a turn towards the end of the day where we're looking at the E-mini. Let's just go to that right now. So uh, I'll go to um, uh, DraftKing in a minute. ES, there we go. So the E-mini... <clears throat> has gone to a leg F in the uh, daily chart. Could be an alternate account because the 9 is still strong, but then uh, MACD is still, uh, is still hasn't turned positive yet. And so the, and the stochastic is uh, under 80% and 72%. So this is going to be very important. But to get that 9-period moving average negative, you'd have to see uh, the E-mini is the same with the S&P. Probably trading at 4930s. It's at 5,072. It's about 120 points lower. I just don't know what's going to do it other than today is a blow off top of some sort. And if that's the case, then we have to be considering that within the, uh, within the context of um, all the different aspects that we're looking at, and that has to include the round numbers, there will be not just a sudden pullback. It'll be a pullback where we make lower highs and lower lows, and it goes on for a little while. You can see here, Caterpillar has automatic resistance right there. There's a chapter wave with, with automatic uh, resistance and support levels. So D DKNG was the question. Um, and you can see 39.92 is a key support level. 45.32 was an automated resistance level. Let's go to the real thing here. Uh, we've got DKNG. <clears throat> trading down six cents at 40.69. This had a bunch of round numbers. And I'm looking at this as, at a peak E, and it seems to me, and I've got it as a leg C in the weekly chart, that, and I said, uh, I was asked about this yesterday and the day before, I said 40 to 39 is the area that I'm looking at as key support. If a starts to take that out, it means that uh, DraftKings is going to have a little bit more of a pullback. We are long this position uh, from lower down. And all I can say is that the weekly chart, so far, all the technicals in the weekly chart are holding very, very nicely. So, and the monthly chart is in a leg E. So that means on a notational basis, we kind of have to watch it, watch this closely. So if that helps you, and if at any point in the next, going into Wednesday of this coming week, if uh, DraftKings is able to even trade for more than 90 minutes 
in the, I'll give you the number right now, I think 4320. 4320 area, that's quite a bit of a way to go to the upside. That'll be important. So just the question came in, so exactly where are you? My At this particular point, we're attempting to pick some kind of a top here. Um, within that, that space, the day is young. Anything can happen. Look, the Dow is still up 243. It was up over 300 points before. The S&P is still up 75. It was way more than that. Anything can happen. But you need to see for that to happen, NVIDIA, which is trading at uh, 70, 773, that I'm not expecting that that will be the benchmark of a pullback, not today or the next day. But coming into Tuesday or Wednesday of next week, today's low is uh, 742. If this gets anywhere close to 752 to 748 over the next, mm, I'd say, in the next few few days, going into Tuesday, Wednesday, I think that you, you're seeing some kind of topish action right now and it should be pulling back. And if that pulls back, it'll fa affect a lot of other areas. Question about the TLT. The TLT, as I read it now, this is, this is subject to... Um, because you've got the TLT and you've got the U.S. bonds, it's, and they have pretty much the same patterns. So as I'm looking at it, I don't see. I don't see a turnaround to the upside that is meaningful. Meaning that at 92.66 right now, 48 cents, to me it won't be meaningful unless it's like two or three days trading in the 93.80 to 94.20 area. If that happens, finally we'll start to see yields start to come down a little bit. I hope that answers the question uh, in the den. And then a YouTube, I think there was a question here. Um, someone said, ah, Pat, congratulations, Pat. You had an objective of 777 in NVIDIA. Let me see what the high is here. Uh, seven. 780.85. It just surpassed that by a fraction. All right, a couple of things I want to look at right now. And uh, where was the, the question came in here? I wrote it down. Yeah, could I look at natural gas? So natural gas mm -hmm. is trading down uh, off the high of the day, but it's still up just a fraction, 0.01. It's at 1.783. Look at UNG, gives a better picture. Uh, that's under yesterday's low. I just, I don't know what it is that's going to get this natural gas to really move to the upside. I don't, I don't mean just bounce. I mean to move to the upside, to go into the UNG at 15.89, to actually be trading in the $19 to $20 area. I just don't know what it's going to take because we're almost running out of time in terms of, uh, we're running out of time in terms of the uh, winter, right? And wow, here in the Boston area, I don't want to talk, so I'm not going to say anything. But you can you can imagine what I was about to say. Um, all right. So within that context, I'm also going to say that the what was the next question? P A N W. Oh, P A N W. So P A N W is uh, Palo Alto made a peak D at 380.88, and is trading now at 271 under the 200 period. Uh, uh, yesterday went under the 200 period moving average. Today it's above the 200 period moving average of 270, up eight, almost nine points. But what's really important about this is you've got a peak F sell signal. I don't know. Uh, it's a sell mode in the daily now. By Friday, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to call this a sell mode. And this was one of the strongest Palo Alto networks. Um, and that's what I was saying yesterday when I was discussing this. Is it possible that you have such a divergence, even within the tech group, that you can have not just a pullback in hack, which is the cybersecurity uh, ETF from the 67s down to the 60 level. It's trading now up $1.20 at 62.43. But I, the, the diversity of action in areas that you would think would kind of go together is, is quite extraordinary, actually. All right. So uh, AMAT lost its opening price, big, in my opinion. Big if it stays below for a couple of bars, puts a starting to sing. <laughs> it's a gap full on the table. All right. Well, we'll see what happens there. So, um, here we go. I want. Yeah. So what I'm looking at here is areas that are not 
in the general market uh, area. In other words, the areas, for instance, look, the, the uh, here we go, this is the DBA, the Agricultural Fund. Look how nice it is too. Why is that? I'll be back. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk. So why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks, we're back. So uh, just to wrap it up, uh, before I have it hand you over to Steve Rose, don't forget we start at 9 o'clock with Tommy Jr. doing the uh, morning market kickoff. We, I spoke about this the other day. 
Um, and I mentioned to subscribers, there were two of them. Mars was one, the Mosaic Company, Phosphates. A nice move up, up $1.73, up 5.7% today at 31.95. And there's another one that we actually are in, in the oil seed area. And I think that that's going to be uh, very important in terms of uh, the rotation. Can we rotate? You remember I mentioned just as we were going to the break, break the DBA, and yet the, the, the grains are doing kind of lousy. And yet, look at this. Um, the DBA is holding very well. That's the DBA of Gold Shore Fund. So I think there's going to be a chance to be doing some moving around in different sectors, adding to the long side, but in different sectors. So with that said, I'm going to hand you over to Steve Rose. Check out my open call, my daily newsletter, and have a wonderful rest of the day.